This is Tanya from Map My Study. Today we'll be doing an Edit Club interview with the most recognized personality from the University College of Dublin, Jeremy Simpson, Principal, School of Science. Welcome, Jeremy. Can you tell us more about yourself? Sure. Thank you, Tanya. Yes. So my name is Professor Jeremy Simpson. I'm currently serving as the Dean in the UCD College of Science. Um, my background is that I'm a, a molecular cell biologist, so I work in areas of, of biotechnology in that area. And um, I'm delighted to be, um, to be to be the dean of science at the moment, looking after the whole variety of different programs that we that we have on offer. Okay, that, that was very good. Can you tell us more about the Faculty of Science at the University College of Dublin? Sure. So um, overall, in the in, in the Faculty of Science, we have about five thousand students studying with us. So it's really one of the largest science faculties of any of the European universities. Um, we have about five hundred staff that work in the faculty. And we deliver a huge number of programs. So uh, we currently deliver more well, than 25 undergraduate programs in science, and we deliver more than 30 postgraduate and master's programs. And those discipline areas cover everything from um, biology, life sciences, environmental science, through chemistry, physics, uh, mathematics, statistics, data science, um, and, and also into computer science and uh, data analytics. And, and we think actually having a broad variety of programs and areas across one faculty really encourages the students to, to talk across different disciplines, which is something that's really important in a, in a faculty of science. Very insightful. What are some popular courses offering at Yeah, so, so it, it, it's probably no surprise to, to say that, of course, our most popular courses are computer science and, and data science. But I think where we've really seen maybe the, the strongest growth um, is in areas of the life sciences. So areas such as biotechnology, biotherapeutics, um, sustainability and environmental sciences has much greater awareness than it, than it used to have. It's great to see students coming into, into those areas. Um, we also see quite a, an increasing level of interest in areas of physics as well, particularly in areas of space science and astrophysics. And I, and I think students are very excited by the, by the potential of those areas. So, so we're delighted to see more students looking at those subjects as well. Then. Okay, uh, do undergraduate students have opportunities to research projects? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's something that's, again, really important, uh, uh, a really important question. So, um, because UCD is a research-intensive university, it, it actually means that all of our students are taught by academics who are also professional researchers. So, so the curriculum and everything that is taught is very much driven by the cutting-edge research that's, that's going on. And because of that, of course, undergraduates, straight away from, from the first year, they're exposed to what the latest science and research is that's going on. So students are very much encouraged, for example, to do internships, um, typically after either the second or more commonly after the third year of the degree, so in that summer period. And a huge number then come into our labs to really get a sense of um, what science and what research is, is actually like. And then, of course, because we have four-year undergraduate degree programs, um, which is a little bit different from maybe some other universities, it means that actually in the final year, in the fourth year of an undergraduate degree, students actually then embed in one of the research labs and they can do projects of, of typically up to about four months in length in one of those research labs. So they really get a sense of actually what research looks like. And, and what's kind of exciting is that actually by the end of that process, they, they really understand you know, what, a, what a research lab is, is like, you know, what that internship experience can, can help them with in terms of their kind of the practical and the technical skills, which of course is, is really important in the sciences. Thank you. Can you tell us more about the career services at the department at UCD? So again, I think, you know, because UCD is, is such a large university, we're very lucky that we've got really comprehensive career support services. Um, we have actually career development modules embedded in all of our degrees, both at undergraduate and postgraduate level. And, and again, that's important because, you know, career development isn't something that a student should just think about at the very end of their degree. Oh, I finished my degree, now what's my career going to be? They should be thinking about their career right from the beginning of starting their degree. So, so we work very closely with, with a very large team in, in, career, uh, in, in the Career Development Service Office. And they will come and they will um, give lectures to students. But importantly, they also provide one-to-one -one support for our students in terms of things like developing their communication skills. They help them with their CV, their resume writing. And of course, it's important that they're, they're also responsible for putting on a number of uh, uh, career fairs and career events on the UCD campus, all these thematic areas. So again, in our area, we have one around kind of finance, um, we would have another one around biopharmaceuticals, another one around IT, for example. And so by supporting the students by working you know, in parallel alongside the career development service, it, it really makes students to 
think about you know the career right from the beginning that they that they start the degree with us. Yes. Can you tell me why the students choose to study at the University College of Dublin? Um, got a probably huge list of, of, of responses to that. So maybe the first thing is you know, we are Ireland's largest and most comprehensive university. So you know that that brings a scale that, that also of course means that, that our facilities are really well developed. Um, we have a beautiful 278 campus in the southern part of the city of Dublin. And I think that's a really nice uh, blend. So it means it's a true campus experience. So we have the, the, the hostels, accommodation on campus as well as the faculty buildings. But of course, all of the um, all of the other facilities that are there too. So things like um, the sports center, the, the Olympic size swimming pool, uh, but also things like a, our own cinema on campus. But of course, at the same time, we're only 20 minutes from, city, from the city center, so the students can also experience you know city life as well as campus life. So, so I think you know the environment in the city is is really conducive for a great student experience. Obviously, because we're a research intensive university, as I've, as I've indicated. That means that the teaching quality is is really excellent, and I think you know. Then combined with that, um, the, the general campus environment and the number of different student societies means that actually students can have a of a holistic experience as well. So they come and they get a great program. They have really good interactions with our academic staff, um, working in a, in a really great environment. My, my own building science faculty is a brand new state of the art building but in a wider surrounding whereby students can leave class and they can go and enjoy the sports facilities and other leisure facilities right there on the doorstep. Love the gym. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your value and time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.